And guys are ready to get this match started. Good to be. I think the crowd knows what we're about to see. Sidewalk slam. Almost drove him through the ring. She's going to try it again. Oh, with authority. Forget it. She's counting sheep. She's queuing it up again. I don't think she's getting up the that one. Well, that one was over before it even started. The competent Tony Nese, unafraid to show off in the ring, whether it's power game or his high-flying ability. Or his abs. Yeah, that too. Baron Corbin likes to be the epitome of the term Lone Wolf. Yeah, Saxton, Baron Corbin does what Baron Corbin wants to do, when he wants to do it, and how he wants to do it. Tonight, he wants to beat someone up. He just punched him in the chest. Back in from the floor. a thing or two about hey Byron what's up protect your neck down brutal spinning back fist Toss to the outside. Perhaps looking to take the action to the outside here. Snapmare. Here it comes, Mia Yim. She calls this. And into the count. Move to go for a pinfall at this point. Yeah, this is way too early to be going for the win. Producing a trampling. Bringing it back into the ring. I spoke with Bailey earlier tonight, and she told me she's not embarrassed or ashamed of the love and passion she had for WWE growing up. She's proud to look back at her poems and essays that convey her desires to be a superstar. Such vicious strikes. And quickly going for the cover. Bailey quickly getting the shoulder up. We're gonna take more than that. With what Byron said about Bailey's childhood essays in mind, it's safe to say that Bailey is just like the average fan of the crowd. Her super fandom is what makes her relatable to everyone in the hunger section. Yeah, it may be true, but my sources in the San Jose School District tell me she got all F's on those essays. Bailey's case of arrested development needs to end if she ever wants to be taken seriously as a WWE superstar. She's dazed in the corner there. Talk oh, about man. being bent. 
Mia Yim calls herself the head baddie in charge. She truly considers herself the top of the mountain in the women's division. And anyone who wants to challenge that, well, Mia will be more than happy to oblige and show them in the ring just what makes her the HBIC. Looks like Bailey is getting pushed to the limit here. She may have underestimated the opposition she'd face tonight. Up and down, brutal. And will this be it? And the shoulders up. She powered out there, Michael. I I'm sorry, are we just accepting nicknames superstars give themselves now? Even without proof to back it up? What exactly is Mia Yim in charge of? And what makes her such a baddie? Well, Corey, I had the pleasure of calling this young woman's match during the second Mae Young Classic, and she is as physical as they come. When it comes to punishment or opponent, she won't let up. And I think that has something to do with her head batty in charge for the victory here. One, two, three. Chuck up another one. Here is your winner, Mia. A very decisive victory here. He's held dozens of championships, competed in countless main events, and owns the greatest streak in WWE history. The Undertaker is here. And we're here in Orlando, a breeding ground for many of the WWE's top superstars, thanks to the Performance Center. Breeding ground for great commentators, too. And there's Saxton. I don't know how you got Fred. Here we go with The Undertaker. Zack Ryder going for it. Bring out the body bags. This one's about to end. Stone. He is in complete control. It's going to be hard for Zack Ryder to come back now. He's not just a pretty broski, folks. He's got swagger and toughness, too. This is real bad. The Goga Plan is locked in. The Phenom looking to tap his opponent. Hell's Gate is in. The Undertaker gets the W. The Undertaker wins it. Here is your winner, the Undertaker. It's all over, and Undertaker stands... The Macho Man keeps opponents guessing with cat-like quickness. Oh, it's coming! Ouch. See ya! Thanks for coming! Can Savage actually pull through? Two. Plenty of fight left. Takes a lot more than that to tame the Savage. Hoisting up. Oh, man, that hurt. Ref get ready to raise his hand. A second time pass to end this. Against all odds, he's got the victory. Here is your winner, Trent Seven. Gets it done to pick up the win. Triple H is taking on the suit and tie, stepping into the ring tonight to show why he's still the game. And you can't sleep on the veteran, the glorious one, Robert Roode. This is a man who's been around the block more than a time or two. Roode's veteran expertise mixed with his desire to be the center of attention allows him to turn extremely vicious at the drop of a hat. Ooh. spending that winner's purse. The win is within grasp for Drew. Very curious move to go for a pinfall at this point. Oh, man, I don't know who to root for.
Back in from the floor. Lost in the corner right now. Uh-oh, Larian. The game starting to fade. No need to panic, he's still swinging. Kick to the gut. Cranked around into a neck breaker. Well, folks, watching Triple H here, you can't help but marvel at the career he's put together over the last few decades. He's the only man in the world who can be called the King of Kings, and it's not an exaggeration. And Triple H is... Triple H looking to end this match. Incoming! They get dangerous out here, especially when there are no countouts. Boom! What a suplex. Wow, glorious offense. He is just done. Drew's got the pump handle hooked. A handle slam. Is it enough? Is it enough? Two, the force of that injury. Three. And Drew is your winner. Come on, Corey. Hallelujah. Stop it. Here is your winner, the glorious Robert Rude. That's an impressive win. Bobby Lashley has run through just about everyone in the WWE locker room. He's always eager to prove that he and he alone is almighty. And we're here in Orlando, a breeding ground for many of the WWE's top superstars, thanks to the Performance Center. Breeding ground for great commentators, too. And, and there's Saxton. I don't know how you got bred. Sam Jawbreaker! You can pick up your teeth in the third row. He slips out. Wow, looked to me like he had it locked in pretty good. I guess not. Look at this, Byron. Here comes a suplex. Oh, oh. slingshot. Hoping to end it early. One, two, Plenty of fight left. He is not going to go down without a fight, Michael. Guys, if there was one word to describe Bobby Lashley, it would be winner. Over the last two decades, that's all he's done. Solid contact from Bobby Lashley. Double arm lock. Yeah, double arm lock, son. What's he got in mind? The cover! Brutus Beefcake and Trump. Bobby Lashley into the cover! Oh, a quick kick out for Bruce Beefcake. Yeah, seemed to be just testing the waters a bit there. Great competitors, great superstars right here in WWE. Michael mentioned Bobby Lashley into the cover. Catch him off guard there, I guess. Wow. Down with a power bomb. Bobby Lashley dominating. He is getting fired up here. Back now inside the ring. He's not going to like this. What does Lashley have in store? Oh, Elevated. So glad I bet on him to win. How Two. is Brutus Beef? Bobby Lashley with the W. Here is your winner, the almighty Bobby Lashley. A very impressive victory. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Cross the shoulders. 
Up and... Big reversal. Setting up. DDT. Gonna be taking that dirt nap. One, two. And he gets the shoulder up. Tried for it early. Back in from the floor. Oh, foot just stomping down. This can't bode well. Death Row connects. A pin attempt out of nowhere. One, two. Oh, did he get him? Two and a half. I have no idea how he did it. Knee drops. That was nasty. So precise. This is a big risk. Will it pay off? Oh, look out. The fist has been dropped. There he goes, crashing to the floor. They get dangerous out here, especially when there are no countouts. Snap, suplex. He's hoping that it quickly. An easy kick out there. He's got some more fight in him, guys. Once again, thank you for tuning in to NXT. He's starting to struggle here. Now he's looking off his game now. He's lining him up. Cross the shoulders. Up and that move with planning meets execution. That's a well-earned victory, if I've ever seen one. That's the kind of win that makes you feel good about yourself. Elias has enjoyed some big wins and some even bigger hit songs in WWE, and he's hungry to climb even higher in both charts, even if it costs him more than a few guitars to get there. Good to be in Orlando, an adopted home of sorts for WWE. Yeah, there's lots of fun parks here, too. Saxon goes to those discount theme parks, just like he's a discount broadcaster. Hey, don't knock it till you try it, Corey. Not many people go to it, but that means there's no lines. Hey, he's trying again. Oh, Put right in the face. A quick cover. One, two. He's got plenty of gas left in his tank. Oh. There's still a chance that we'll hear more from Elias. Is it really that bad? Oh, now he's gonna go up to the ropes. What on earth is he planning to do here? There is no way. The power involved to pull this off. What a superplex. Tuck him in. It's looking to catch him off guard. Oh man, they don't even seem hurt after that. Clearly not enough damage done. When we first were introduced to Elias in NXT, he called himself the Drifter. He he's going back to the well. What a way to win a singles match. Here is your winner, C. Creature. Another
another win on the resume. Well, no one's going to be walking with.